Welcome. You've got mail. Hello, everyone. Retro Robbie here with another mail call. And I got some more mail. I thought open it up for you guys. I got one a hockey card I was autographed. Um, I got a stink bid, so we can open that up. I got uh, two trades that we can look at, and then I actually got one TTM back. Uh, so we're going to look at all four of these things, so I'm not going to waste any more time. So let's see what we got for the mail. This one's going to be the hockey card. I did this, and I forgot I bid it on this, and I think I only bid it like a dollar or two. So <laughs> it was really cheap. I got it. So let's see what we get. Now we're gonna, there it is. There is the Warren Fogel of the Carolina Hurricane. Very nice card. It's a rookie auto patch. That is, uh, let's see, that is 2018 2019 Upper Deck Premier Hockey. So hand signed. It was numbered to 99. 46 out of 99. So it's a two color patch. So we will take that. That's very nice. I don't have his autograph. So one thing about hockey cards, man, they they are they players sign a lot of stuff. I mean, baseball you don't see as much, or they charge an arm and a leg. Hockey's kind of cheaper, which I really love. And there's some good players like Warren Fogle there. He's a great player for uh, Carolina there. So very nice. We will take that. I love that card. It goes in my collection. So I got two trades here. So we got. Same guy trading me twice. He likes what he sees on my channel. He asked, hey, can I get that? I said, sure, let's do a trade. So here we go. Here's the first one, and it's covered for my protection. And it's a more painter's tape, but it's not painter's tape on 89 Dunross. So that's a good thing. Now here we go. Let's see what we get. And pull that out. And it's covered for my own protection. You know it, buddy. <laughs> you gotta love that. So here we go. He gets my jokes. I love it. There we go. Boom. We're gonna start it off here with a Larry Walker from 1990 Aberdeck. We will take that. I believe that's his rookie card with the Expos. A very nice card there. So start it off with Larry Walker. We will take that. Up next, we got a Rick Sutcliffe from my Cubs. Get my Cubs love on an 86 top. So, very nice Rick Sutcliffe. And we can get some more Jimmy Dean sausages there. So, another Cecil Fielder, a 1993 Jimmy Dean sausage. So, you know, you can never have enough baseball cards on Jimmy Dean sausages. So, very nice. There's the back. I think that's a different year. I think the other one was a 92. So, we got 93. Very nice. on character form there. I love Cecil Fielder. So, I might be getting his signature here soon. So, look out for that. Be seeing that here soon. Jimmy Dean, Cecil Fielder, we'll take it. And we got another 1986, Sweet Lou Whitaker. You know, I love my Sweet Lou's, my favorite player. I love it. Sweet Lou on 86 tops. Hey, we're going to get another Lou. We're going to get a lot of Lou love here. So, uh, this one's on an 86 Fleer. So, we will take that. There we go. There's the back. 86. Troy Tigers of Lou Whitaker. Up next, we're going to get a Cub sticker because you got to have Cub stickers all over the place. You got to give, you got to love the Cubs. Go Cubbies. We love you. Up next, another. We're on a Lou Whitaker Street. This time on a 1985 Tops. Love that picture there of him. Very nice. I love it. Sweet Lou. There's the back. And we're going to get more Jimmy Dean sausages. <laughs> we're getting another pack. It's up with Jose Canseco on the front. Like I said, I made fun of saying I'm going to collect the set. And I think he was serious in giving me this stuff. So there we go. We'll open that up later. And 87 tops there, Barry Larkin. And it's Mike Schmidt. Look, we got a Mike Schmidt. Who is yes. Mike Schmidt? Who's Mike Schmidt? Bro, have some respect here, man. What are you talking about? I don't know who Mike Schmidt is. You've never heard of Mike Schmidt. I started an album with him. I've been getting so many Mike Schmidt's. I got a Mike Schmidt album. One of these days, I will share it. So many Mike Schmidt's. You gotta love it. Good old Mike Schmidt. 
on 85 tops. Yeah, we're going to get those Daddy Grand Slams. Hey, that's very nice. That's Ryan Sandberg in all fuzzy holographic form there. <laughs> Woo, you can barely see them there. Barely make out the 23 in the back there. So there we go. We're going to get some Denny's on a pinnacle. 1996, because... Who doesn't love blurry holograms? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we're going to get another one there. Oh, yeah, that one looks a little better at least. I can re see that a little bit. Is that Joe Carter? Yep, it's Joe Carter. Oh, very nice. Got Joe Carter on the Denny's. I guess I got to start collecting this now too, man. got to get all 28. Because who doesn't want baseball cards with their grand slam dinners come on you do you know it 3 a.m that's the perfect hangover food is denny's so let's open up his second package here oh i know he wants some of the football cards and basketball cards so i gotta get on that i promise you i'll get on it oh here we go and it's again Sealed for my protection, as you know. Because you can never be too safe. Here we go. There it is. Here are some fun cards. I thought you might like nothing super valuable. Well, that's all right. Now we're going to start it out there with a Alan Trammell on a Classics card. All in 90s form, man. That is, you can't get more 90s deco than that. Man, I'm telling you. Tell you what, all the cars, especially Dunross in like the 90s there, man, you could tell they were from the 90s. So there's a classic. I'll take it. I don't have that card. And in my collection, I know it's not worth much because it's a classic, but hey, what are you going to do? Up next, we got Bruce Suter on a 1979 OPG card. Very nice. Love it. Get my Cubs love. Get some OPG there. That's a nice card there. I love it. Very nice. Add that. Getting my subsets going on with the OPGs. So loving it. Oh, man, it's getting another sweet Lou Whitaker on an 87 Fleer. I got to find a box of those. I got to open some. I know it's junk wax, but man, I love 87s. All the products that your 87s, they're such good looking cards. I just thought they were all slick in 87. So very nice. Sweet Lou. And yeah, we can get some hockey. He said he had some hockey cards. And you know I love hockey cards. <laughs> 1990 score. Man, they made so much of this stuff. I got to find a box and open this. This is so fun. See if we can pull a Lindros because that's the big card from there was the, a 90 score. So we got Yari Curry there. 1990 record breaker. So... I remember opening those. They're so cheap back then. And we got 19, uh, I believe that's uh, 1990, of Curtis Joseph. That's his top prospect green card, so we'll take that. There it is. 1990, 91. Oh, very nice. We're going to get Eric Dickerson of the Colts in Pro Set. Come on, you know they made so many Pro Sets. I know they did the same thing for hockey, too. Has made a lot of pro set in the early 90s of hockey. And I'm sure they did it in football, too. That's kind of cool. I'll take that. Hey, look, it's Mike Schmidt. Look, there he is. Another Mike Schmidt from 1983. And he's, he's the all-time leading home run hitter. No, he's not the all-time leading home run hitter. Well, for white guys, he's, he's not even for he's white guys. Babe Ruth's got Next, you're going to tell me you don't know who Vaughn Hayes is. His favorite clip. He leads the home runs. Uh, you got Tony Perez and Dave Kingman there. Like I said, Dave Kingman, man, he was a stud in the day. Very underrated. There he is on the Mets. We'll take that. Yeah, I'm going to get another sweet Lou Whitaker on a 1990 Fleer. We will take that. So, hey, I'm loving this. This is a lot of cards for my PC collection. And there he is again. Uh, 1984 Tops of... Uh, that's the leaders from Lou Whitaker and Jack Morris. So, very nice. We'll take that. Nope. And we're going to get a 1991 uh, Stadium Club of Greg Maddox. So there's the uh, 92. Sorry, 92. I always get them backwards. 92 Greg Maddox. That's a slick card there. I like that. Very nice. We will take that. Up next, we got first class rookies of Joey Harrington and Tayshawn Prince. So get some other Detroit love there. 
Oh, Joey Harrington. Oh, boy. That takes me back to some more nightmares. Again, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Lions fan. Shh, don't tell no one. Oh, we suck so bad. But Tayshawn Prince, he was a good player, too, for the Pistons. Very nice. There's the back. So there we go. I'm sure it wasn't worth four bucks. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't I don't know the prices on on cars like that. I don't even know what that is. Uh Upper Deck Superstars. Uh yeah. 2003. Oh, very nice. I'll take that. And yeah, there's Cecil Fielder again. Detroit Tigers. Uh, 1994 Dunross. I love that. That's very nice. I think that's a, yeah, that's one of those uh uh special edition one so that card has a little value i'll show the value on that one that poppy you gotta love the guy the guy could crush it man i still one of my best memories of him was when he, i was at the game when he cleared the 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 stadium in tiger stadium left field one of the very few people that did that uh, you know, I'm going to get him signed. I'm going to actually, I'm going to grab my ticket and see if he signs it. It's like one of my favorite memories of him was when I was at that game. So let's open up Jimmy Dean because, you know, you love sausages, especially when they're on baseball cards. You gotta love it. Well, here we go. Some more Jimmy Dean love. I'm going to have a Jose Caseco in the front. And we get Dave Justice in the middle there. So very nice. Not a bad player to get. Let's like look back that one. So there it is. 14.25. So like I said, getting close to the whole set now. <laughs> Jimmy Dean sausages. And there's the big hurt himself. Frank Thomas. Gotta love Frank Thomas there. The big hurt. The big stud. From the White Sox. We will take that. So thank you very much for the troll. Oh, I got one more here. I forgot. I said that site, so I'll make sure. So there he is. There's Ziggy Palfrey right there. So I just did him a while ago. So very nice. A uh, relic patch. So that's 265 out of 499. You know I'm gonna touch it because I love touching it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I gotta feel that jersey love there. Of Ziggy Paul yeah, so that is artist impressions do not know much about those um, trying to read the year there of course can't see it but I'll look it up I'll give you the price very nice we will take that I'll add that to my hockey love there oh, there we go so here's the last card let's see this one's from Kansas City I'm trying to think who this one was uh, I think it was one where I had extra cards. Let's make sure I don't cut the card here. Oh, here we go. And we're going to get Ed Hearn. That's who we got. I have a lot of his cards in a, in a box. I don't know if it was a Repax Wax. So he signed both of my cards. That was for free, actually. So that's a great signature of Ed Hearn. And there he is on the New York Mets. I know why I got him. Where are you? That's right, you got gummed abused. So I told them that. Where is that card? Oh, I had it laid out here. Oh, where is it? Oh, all right. I'm gonna set this down here. I'm gonna put it on pause. I'm gonna find the card one second. So, yes, that's the reason why I got Ed Hearn signed because I got <laughs> a gum stain back on him when we opened up one of my earlier show episodes of the 87 tops and got that really bad gum stain so he doesn't deserve that no ed hearn deserves that that's why i got him signed from the new york mets so he has an awesome autograph so we will take that so there we go ed hearn a ttm Got a sign because of the bad back that was on my episode. Like I said, you people, I'm serious. Anything that gets abused, I will get signed because these cars don't deserve it. Even on 87 tops, even though they produce so many of them. Man, it's a beautiful signature, especially on the 88. So very nice. We will take that. Thank you so much, Mr. Ed Hearn. You're a great guy and you're a great contributor to the game of baseball. We appreciate it. Um... I love it. It's going to my collection. Definitely the, this one is. I might give this one a giveaway one of these days. You never know. I, crazy stuff I do. But th thank you very much, Mr. Hearn. I appreciate you. 
And thank you for watching, everyone. If you like these uh, through the mail openings and trades and other stuff, give it a thumbs up. You know, subscribe to my channel. I love opening stuff up for you guys. See what I get in return. I, I always tell people just, hey, make it fair. You know, whatever you got, whatever you want to show me, I'll take it. I love it. I loved everything I got here. I got a lot for my PC collection there. I got some Jimmy Dean love. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Hey, smash that subscribe button. I really need it. So if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate your comments, your trades. Thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.